this system is a very old Pro Hayward ProLogic system, uh, but this one uh, is similar. The this button configuration is a little bit different, but on the newer Pro ProLogic, then you are looking for something that says service or something. There's a button right beside. Uh, there's a little light right beside it. And so right now I have it in timeout mode. So if I could shade that, it's it's really bright right here. But if I could shade it, that that little light is blinking. I'm not sure if you'd be able to see that if I shade that. Oh yeah, you can see it. See it's blinking. So we're in timeout mode. So if I if when I first got here, the pump's running. I'm gonna hit that button and it's a solid light and then I'm gonna hit it one more time and then now it's gonna be a blinking light. That's what the procedures talk about as far as time out mode. The time out mode is gonna stay on uh, these kind of systems, same with like a Jandy, I'll show you a different one. Uh, then it will stay in time out mode uh, for three hours and then automatically switch back to auto. So if you forget to switch it back to auto, which you shouldn't, we, we wanna switch it back and have the pump running anytime that we have, uh, um, anytime that we're at a pool, then we can certainly turn it off. This one, the water is very disturbed on top, so we're turning it off to stop the bubbler and fountain and stuff. And then we will turn it back on uh, and have the pump start again whenever we get done cleaning the pool. So that's what the mode that you want to be in. You always want to be on a digital system. Uh, if it has one of these kind that we just, that we go to that blinking light, that is the timeout mode. And then once we're done, we hit the, we hit it one more time and it goes back to auto. Uh, and then the pump and everything will start back up. All right, this is a Hayward ProLogic system, uh, control system. It's a uh, digital of course so to be able to turn this one off and on uh this one you're gonna go here this is the service button you're gonna click it once and then that service mode that's only for repair technicians cleaning technicians are gonna go here we'll hit it one more time and it's gonna be blinking that's it the timeout mode that we want it to be in you heard the pump stop because uh, this is these are not variable speed pumps these are just single speed pumps on this system uh, and that's, uh, you can go and clean the pool, empty the pump basket, that kind of stuff. Whenever you're done, you want to go back to auto, uh, then you're going to click that service button one more time so that there's no light there. And then that returns it back to auto mode uh, until the system will start up running again. Uh, but that's the Hayward ProLogic system uh, to be able to turn the pump off and on. That's the Hayward ProLogic system to be able to put the uh, system in timeout mode. And then if you need to, once it's, uh, if the program does not tell the pump to come on, let's say the pump was not supposed to be scheduled to come on until 9 a.m. and you're that, there at 8 a.m., even in auto mode, you know, this is auto mode, then you could hit the filter pump button and then turn the filter on and then have it be running by doing that. Um, but that's when you'd be able to go into timeout to be able to stop the system so that you can open the pump basket, stuff like that. This particular system, this is a digital control system, Pentair IntelliCenter control. I'm gonna show you how to stop the pool equipment. You're gonna come here to settings and then you're gonna come to service mode and then you're gonna hit, sir, you're gonna hit the timeout. So we're gonna hit timeout. Anytime you'll see that it's three hours right here, but basically uh, you're gonna go to a timeout one. Sometimes like on the Hayward ones, uh, it's blinking. Uh, on this one, it says timeout because after three hours, then it's gonna automatically switch back over to auto. After three hours, it's automatically gonna switch back over to auto. So we always, as pool technicians, uh, that are cleaning the pool, we always use the time out mode and that stops all of the that stops all of the equipment and then you can open the pump basket, that kind of stuff, you can check it. Uh, once you're done, then you can go ahead and come back over here and hit auto and then it's gonna start everything back up again. And then you're done, you can get out of that.
this is the OmniLogic system. Uh, and so this is the, the original OmniLogic. Uh, you're gonna have an OmniPL system that has this same kind of uh, little box off to the side it, and it's in a little white box, but it's still gonna be a touch screen type. So whether it's Omni or OmniPL, uh, then this is how you would uh, get into the system. It's a touch screen. You can use the little stylus thing or you can use your finger, it doesn't matter. Uh, but what you're gonna do is whenever you come up to the box, then you're gonna see, you're looking for spa or pool. See, this says spa right here. And then there's little arrows down here that you can click to switch to pool. You're not gonna do anything for a cleaning technician. You're not gonna do anything in spa ever. So you basically use these arrows right here to switch between, between pool and spa. So when you see pool, when you switch to pool on top left corner, then now you can click the screen and then you're gonna see the different options that you have available for you in the pool area. Uh, this particular system has a salt cell on it and it also, here's your main pump. I have the main pump off right now. The salt system, uh, this is the percentage, this is where you'd go for the chlorinator. Uh, this particular salt cell is off right now, but it would be normally be on if it was uh, generating uh, and then you'd click, this is the different percentage. You would change the percentage here if you wanted it 80%, 100%, you know, whatever, and click the, click the button. Uh, to actually check the salt level, then it would be right here. It would be the average salt reading would be right here uh, is, is where you would uh, normally check it. Uh, you can go to the little magnifying glass as well and then it gives you an instant salt reading right here and then an average salt reading right here. So that's another place that you can check it. But generally, you're gonna, generally you're gonna check it right here, whereas the average salt reading, that's what you're checking whenever you're checking the salt level. Um, so let me get out of that. And then we're gonna go to filter pump. If the filter pump's running, you go to filter pump right here and you turn it off with the little slide right here, turn it off. And then whenever you prime it back up, you're gonna hit, you're gonna turn it on and then hit high because you always try to prime the pump back up in high so that, especially after you've opened a pump basket or something like that. So I would turn it on, you, I'll go ahead and turn it on and then you can hear it, the pump start up in just a second. But that's how you would start and stop the pump. So you hear the pump starting up now. And I'm gonna go ahead and stop it again. See, I just turned it off. And then that stops the pump. But that's how you deal with a, the uh, OmniLogic system. Always prime the pump back up in high. And then you can leave it in high and then the program will take over later. Or you can turn it back down to a lower speed if you want to, like medium or hitting custom. And you can set anything that you want in custom, 75%, whatever. Uh, but that's it.